your mind. Open 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 your mind. them right after the 9-11 attack. They were the ones guarding the secret mountain bunker where top government officials would go in a national emergency. Take a look at the patch on their uniforms because this is what you'll mostly be staring at after a major terrorist attack. It's the mark of the Federal Emergency Management Agency or FEMA police. FEMA's most important role would come after a major terrorist attack. The minute President Bush declares a national emergency, FEMA becomes the boss. Federal documents lay out plans for what will happen to you if you survive. It's called consequence management. Executive orders going back to John F. Kennedy and the Cold War kick in. Order number 11002 directs the Postmaster General to register all residents, including the mayor, so movement and relocation can be controlled. Executive Order 10995 says FEMA takes over all radio and TV. Order 10997, FEMA takes over gas stations and electric companies. Order 10998, FEMA takes over grocery stores and farms. Order 10999, FEMA controls movements of cars and boats. Order number 11,000, FEMA can suspend wage laws and put labor forces to work without pay. Order number 11,001, FEMA takes over hospitals and schools. FEMA answers only to the National Security Council and the President. Congress cannot intervene for six months. New questions tonight about an Army combat brigade being trained to deal with civil disturbances in the United States. The Posse Comitatus Act of 1878 generally prohibits federal uniform services from carrying out domestic law enforcement duties, except in cases expressly authorized by the Constitution or an act of Congress. Critics say the brigade's training goes against one of the founding principles of our country, separation of military and civilian government. Luis Giovanni has our report. They've spent 30 months on the streets of Baghdad. Now the 1st Brigade Combat Team of the Army's 3rd Infantry Division is back in the USA. The Army Times reporting, quote, they may be called upon to help with civil unrest and crowd control or to deal with potentially horrific scenarios, end quote. The question arises, why? And isn't that what the National Guard does? Infantry Brigade is designed to engage an enemy with maximum effective force and destroy it. That's not the sort of thing anybody wants to see in, in the streets of the United States. Almost 5,000 strong, the brigade is based at Fort Stewart, Georgia, under control of Northern Command, who tells CNN, quote, the primary purpose of this force is to provide help to people in need in the aftermath of a WMD-like event in the homeland, so that were they called to support civil authority, those governors or local state jurisdictions that might need our help, that they would be responsive and capable in the aftermath of an event like this, end quote. On Capitol Hill, questions about how the Pentagon determined that a thinly stretched military with two conflicts underway could spare these troops. That's a misuse of assets. Those assets can be deployed, I think, more efficiently somewhere else when you have the guard that you can call up on a moment's notice. Historically, the posting is unusual. In modern history, Army troops have been used at extraordinary junctures. Under the first President Bush to contain the 1992 riots in Los Angeles, under President Lyndon Johnson in response to Detroit's 1967 riots, and in the grips of a depression by President Herbert Hoover to contain Army veterans demanding their bonuses. All actions, says as historian yes, Robert exactly. Dalek undertaken exactly. by unpopular presidents uh, uh, on edge about uh, their capacity to lead uh, to uh, invoke public support for whatever it is they think needs to be done 
Lisa, the Army Times journalist tells us that the story has generated intense public interest. And four weeks into a flurry of questions about the report, the Army finally contacted her and they requested that she publish a clarification that containing domestic civil unrest was not part of the 1st Brigade mission. Louise Schiavone, thank you very much for that report.